Let's go. The metaverse is a term that all of us in the crypto slash NFT space have heard multiple, multiple times, but it is also something that is still brand new. We haven't gotten much of a taste of yet, and there has not really been a metaverse that has been successful just yet. When it comes to Vivi, they have announced their Vivi-verse coming. Last year in 2021, they said it'd be coming by the end of 2021, and that didn't happen. And now there are talks about it coming out sometime this year. But to be honest, with how long the web app's taking, with how long MTL is taking, I don't anticipate a Vivi-verse, a metaverse coming out by this year. If it is, I think it'd be very, very basic and simple. But regardless, it got me thinking, what would the Vivi-verse look like and how successful would it be once it's implemented? I've been trying to figure out how I should set my expectations, how long I should be waiting until the metaverse is actually something that is worthwhile that people want to go into. And along with that, I've been thinking, okay, what kind of collectible should I be going for that might not be super cool just in AR or 3D format, but will be cool in the metaverse. For example, maybe some paintings, some posters, some statues that you can put in your metaverse house. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I can't wait to put this in my Vivi-verse home, or this will be a huge flex in the Vivi-verse. And so I've been thinking, how much weight should I be putting into these decisions? How far ahead should I be looking into the metaverse? Or is it so far out or it won't be worthwhile enough to be using that as my main investing strategy? So these are all things that I've been thinking about, struggling with, going back and forth with, trying to make a decision for my investment strategy going forward. But then I came across a tweet thread from Jeremy Padower, and he has quite the track record, as you can see from his Twitter bio. If you guys don't already know, he's very active in the VV and Ikumi community. But here in his bio, global toy maker for Pokemon, Fortnite, Roblox, AEW, Halo, Coco Melon, Squishmallows, chief brand officer of Jazzwares, investor, advisor, collector. You guys get the idea, right? So. He is very well established in this type of space and he's very involved with Vivi and Ikomi and he really believes in the project. And so he had this thread about metaverses that I thought was really, really interesting and I thought it was very well said. And these have been kind of the things that I've been thinking about and I just wanna add a few more things onto what he said. So he starts off by saying, don't think of the metaverse as an earth alternative where there is one destination with limited available space. The metaverse is more like a multiverse with infinite opportunities to explore subpar content and a few projects that will become trillion dollar market makers. So I'll read through the whole thread and then I'll give my commentary. I'll add things on after the fact. So he goes on to say that he has no doubt that in 10 years, the landscape of the top 50 companies by market cap will include several in the digital life experience space. Along the way, there'll be massive fallout, extraordinary promises, money grabs with zero consequences, meaning be very careful traversing this space. For every person who turns $1,000 into a million, there'll be hundreds of people that lose money on ill-fated projects. This will make web one, the original dot-com bubble, look tame. Change is coming, this is inevitable, and the metaverse experience will gradually evolve from one to two senses to all five over generations. Think of it like the internet meets the evolution of gaming consoles with a dash of the matrix. Regardless, we all live in the year 2022 with generations of development ahead, it all won't happen at once and there will be so many false promises and some enormous financial winners. One of the reasons that I like this thread is because I think it gives a very realistic kind of sobering look on the metaverse or the future or potential of metaverses. And I say that because I think a lot of times, again, in the crypto NFT space, I think things can be hyped up a little bit too much or sometimes we're in a bit of an echo chamber where we only hear positive things about NFTs and crypto and metaverses where I'm not sure if you guys have maybe been seeing a few things, but outside of the VV or the Ecomi or just the overall crypto Twitter spaces that I hang out in, or not even spaces, just browsing on Twitter. Whenever I see cryptos or NFTs in that non-crypto setting, it's usually negative to be honest. And a lot of that is because there are so many scams in crypto and NFTs and people just really have a bad idea of it. They don't fully understand it. But again, there are a lot of bad actors that really give it a bad name. So with that being said, I think there's still a lot of work to be done on these metaverses, how they develop and getting the mainstream into it. Because right now, I think they're kind of hesitant and I don't think that every single metaverse will blow up as big as a lot of people have been saying. So that's why I like this thread. And now I'll be talking about how some of it relates to Vivi and just some of my overall thoughts on it in general. So starting with the first part of the thread, I think this is really important to remember. And that is the fact that 
the metaverse, at least for the next few decades, at the minimum, will not be a life replacement. It won't be you feel like you're in a whole new world, you feel like you're living a whole new life whole, as a whole new person. It won't be that advanced. And I personally think that if you're waiting for that to happen, you'll probably be, you know, on the older side of your lifetime until that is a reality. So I don't think it'll be like a new game of life. I think it'll be like the next evolution of, say, video games. So for example, on Steam, you could find all types of games, all types of prices, genres, popularities. You could find an indie game for 99 cents that has five concurrent players. And, you know, those five might love it but it's just not mainstream it's not widespread and then you have games like league of legends call of duty etc that have hundreds of thousands of concurrent players on any given day so i think that's how the metaverse will be like there might be a few you know subsections a few little niche communities that people really enjoy being in and then i think there'll be the huge metaverses where the majority of people stay and remain and spend the majority of their time in i think it'll be like the disney's the marvels the cartoon networks Fans of those brands, especially things with, you know, lots of characters, lots of different shows or movies or different places to explore. If you could be in, you know, Pixar World and you can be in Marvel City, I think those are the metaverses that people will want to socialize in and spend their time in. You know, if I made a metaverse and I had some scarce digital land, you know, it's scarce, but who cares that it's scarce, right? If no one wants to be there, it won't be valuable. There will be no one even showing up. But I think that, you know, when you have these companies like Disney that are roping everything off, this specific plot of digital land is the only place you'll ever be able to find Disney licensed things. If it's like that, then that digital land is worth something. But if it's land that anybody can create on a computer, then shoot, who's going to show up to that? Moving on to the next couple of tweets in the thread. I think that his analysis here is very on point because like we saw with the dot com bubble back around, you know, 2000 the vast, vast majority of those tech stocks completely crashed and it went to zero. But at the same time, look what emerged from that. We got things like Google, things like Apple, things like Microsoft. Those are now among the biggest companies in the world. And I actually believe that Apple is the biggest in terms of market cap. So it is true that the vast, vast majority of those companies completely crashed and burned. But what was able to rise to the top was completely world changing life changing and they have turned into some of the biggest companies in the world so i know the internet and nfts are not exactly the same thing and all the comparisons won't line up exactly but i believe that vv is in as good of a place as any current nft project to be one of those leaders who emerges from the ashes and stays alive past the crashes past the recessions and past where they weed out the bad projects. And the reason I'm so confident in that is because I always refer to this, but because of their licensing, having so many of the major brands on your side, distributing their IP on your platform. To me, that is just the biggest sign that VV is doing things the right way and that they are in the prime position to write out any kind of crypto winners. We might see any kind of NFT bear markets. And I think we're actually seeing that play out in a much smaller scale as other NFT projects fail or as certain VV collectibles start to go down a little bit. The blue chips, the grails, they hold a lot of their value and they're still 10, 20, 30 times more valuable than they were even just maybe six months ago. Moving on to the fourth tweet talking about the evolution starting off, you know, from one to two senses to five. I think that metaverses as we know them today, as we see them today, will look like dial up internet back in the day it'll look so slow so basic honestly kind of useless or boring just with how rudimentary it is right now and currently only the nft junkies only the techies only people really in the know willing to take risks are people who are in this space once the metaverse is more fun to be in than playing fortnite playing roblox playing league of legends then that's when people will join the metaverse. It needs to be a better experience. It needs to be more fun. It needs to be just as, if not more accessible. So until these metaverses reach, you know, those four or five senses and really make it an extremely immersive experience, I don't think that we'll see a lot of people jump over just yet. So I would just say that keep in mind that the vast majority of people are not like me and you. We're not like me making this video and not like you watching this video because we are really in the know in this space and a lot of people won't be as accepting of hearing these ideas they'll be more questioning more hostile and more resistant to opening up to it and then as for his last tweet you know i might be biased i probably am biased i think that the financial winners that we see from this wave of web 3 
will be the VVs and the heroes of the NFT world, just like the Googles and the Microsofts were of the Web1 world. But I think that it'll be the people like us, the people in VV and Hero and Recur and those types of things with licensed IP, creating good projects, good experiences. I'll throw in bat cowls too. I'm not saying that all these projects are guaranteed to be successful or turn a profit. By the way, this is probably a good time to say not financial advice, never financial advice. I'm not saying that all of these will do well or be successful. I'm just saying that these have the best chances. So my whole reason for making this video and for showing you guys that Twitter thread was because I think that the VVverse will be one of those metaverses that does stand the test of time and does make it out of the NFT craze and this NFT bubble, if you want to call it that. And I personally think that of all the places to invest your money in the NFT space or in the metaverse space, I think that the VVverse has one of the best chances to be successful. And as for projects such as CryptoPunks or Board Ape Yacht Club or those types of profile picture NFT projects, I think that the bar to survive and withstand is even higher because there is so much less backing it, so much less recognition, so much less understanding of the general public. If you show anybody on the street your Spider-Man NFT, even if they don't know what an NFT is, if they don't know what VV is, if they don't know what digital collecting is, they'll at least know Spider-Man. If you show someone a bored ape on the street, chances are, unless they've seen it on the news, they'll have no clue what it is and it'll be less recognizable and they'll be a lot less resistant to joining. So if you're looking for mainstream mass adoption, if you think that NFTs are the future and are on their way to being a part of our everyday lives, then I think that projects with licensed IP are the way to go. I do think that there'll be other projects like, you know, as I mentioned, CryptoPunks and Bored Apes. I think they'll do well because of their historical significance in the NFT space. But I think that other projects that are similar to them, I think it'll be a lot harder to gain traction, gain popularity. And I personally think that those will be more likely to be the ones like in the dot-com bubble, the ones that crashed. And I think that something like Vivi especially is more likely to be a Google or an Apple. But as always, who really knows? This is all still so early. Anybody can make any move and claim the top spot. It's still so many years away from where we're trying to get to. So a lot can happen in those years. New players can come in. Current players can get better. Licenses can shift or change, move around. Utility gets brought in. We know we got Master Collector program coming up. We got Omi Utility. We got KYC. We got MTL. So many things on the horizon that will really shift how we look at these projects and shift the direction that they're going. So what I'm trying to say is that there is so much left to be discovered, to be determined. And this is just my outlook as it stands as of today. But big shout out to Jeremy for the thread. I'd already been thinking about these recently. So when I saw this tweet thread, I thought it'd be great to comment on, make a video on and share my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of my comments on Jeremy's thread the future of the metaverse, the future of the VVverse. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like or a subscription. I'd really appreciate it. And with all that being said, my name is NFT Flenny, and I'll catch you guys next time.